Hello, my name is Colin Jenkinson, and today we're going to get down and heavy with our ABCs. Okay, so in my series here, we're going to mostly concentrate on playing on single strings and that rather than learning things in like a half or first position sort of deal on multiple instruments, but let's start off with the bass guitar. All right, so uh, if you use the usual numbering system for the bass guitar, the string farthest away from you is string number one, then two, three, and four. And that's kind of counterintuitive because most people want to call string number four number one because it's closest to your face. Took me years to get used to this, not to mention getting used to these glasses. All right, so <clears throat> string number three is your A string in most bass tunings. Actually, let's go over that. String number one is our G string usually. Number two is the D. Number three is the A. And number four is the E. Or you can go the other way and go E, A, D, G, or eat a darn goat. <clears throat> so on the A string, consists of several ABCs that sound kind of a darker sort of minor sound and it starts off of course with open A. Second fret is B. I'm going to put my hands over the top rather than underneath so you can see things a lot clearer. Now right next to it is C. Most of these notes are going to have a space between, except for B and C, and two others, E and F, and we'll get to that in a second. Go up two more frets, we got D, two more, we're up to E. Now one fret this time, the F, as an E and F. Then up two frets for G, then double dot, it's an octave E. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. All of these notes have a space between except for B and C and E and F. <clears throat> so a great way to practice this is kind of get familiar with your two endpoints. Open A, and on your double dot, this has a very specific uh, meaning. It is the halfway point of the string. And that always gives you an octave. Any string instrument, if you cut the string in half, you'll get an octave note to whatever the open note is. So here's an A and here's an A. And as many bass lines will just use these two notes like or the first two notes of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Somewhere. Okay, so that's how you find your A and your A. Uh, some of you might have a luxurious 24 fret which you get another A on the second double dot, which would be your 24th fret. I don't have that. I can get a harmonic up here. But that's the subject of a different lesson. For those of you at 24 frets, this double dot and your next double dot will give you A's. All right, so next, I'll try to memorize your A, B, C, which would be A, B, and C. A, B, C. It's always good to try to sing along with it, even if you have crappy voice. A, B, C. I think I used to do it in reverse. C, B, A, A, B, C, C, B, A. Then I'd concentrate on D, E, and F, which is a long one and a short, as in deaf. D, E, F. Or like deaf leopard rather than what? Deaf. D, E, F, then backwards it's Fed, like your FedEx. F, E, D, D, E, F, F, E, D. Okay, then the next fun one to remember is G, A, and B, as in Gab. Here's a G, octave A. Uh, we didn't go over this one yet, but two frets above it is another B. Gab. And of course, spelled backwards is Bag. B, A, G. Okay, uh, 
Lucy and Linus uses those three notes, or three blind mice. Again, I'm putting my hand over to make things really clear. And then, of course, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but with a different melody from the twinkle, twinkle, little star you might have learned as a kid. So it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Let me add the B for what? B, A. Now, student backwards now. G. Hey, sorry. Octave A. G. F. E, D, C, B, and A. Now you might be wondering what's happening up beyond this double dot and a very similar set of inlays that you have down here. And what this does is it gives you what are called octaves past the double dot. So here's another A that has the very same geometry as the uh, other section. A space to a B. B and C next to each other, a space to a D, another space to an E, and then one fret to the F. For those of you with 24 frets, you can get a couple more notes and get up to get this oct uh, double octave A thing up here. Here I can get a harmonic, and I, <clears throat> if you don't have those 24 frets and you want to hit a harmonic, you kind of mess around till you find it. And I happen to have a screw that kind of helps me find it sometimes. Um, it almost feels like it changes on a daily basis. Anyways, so here's F again. E, D, C, B, and A. So we have another set up here of your ABCs in exactly the same order and placement of dots. Uh, and here's another fun thing that I'll point out in the next few lessons is this first dot past the nut, not this nut, that nut, is the same letter, whatever the tuning is, as this dot, single dot, past the double dot. C to C, or is an, uh, <clears throat> C to shining C, 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 D, D, E, Anyways, I'll get to more how that you can use these dots to match octaves up here in many instances. And you can have it tuned to anything, and this will always give you an octave to whatever it is. So let's say you're just playing strictly by ear, and you're jamming with some friends, and they're playing some chord, and you're just fumbling around, and you try this note and that note, and then you come to this, say this note. You go, oh, that sounds good. If you want to play another note besides just grooving on this note, find, figure out where you are. It's in, okay, that's a second dot past the nut. So if I go second dot past this double dot, that sounds very similar. It probably sounds great with whatever chord's going on that worked with this. Oops, missed that one. And that is, in fact, this note up an octave. It's not really the focus of this lesson, but I just want to kind of introduce that a little bit. All right, so again, <clears throat> A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. Another C, another D, another E, and an F. Oop. There you go. Enjoy. Next time, we're going to do the E string, string number four, and its regular, regular letters. And we'll also review the A string a bit. And I'll also show you a couple of interesting aspects about learning your regular letters on these two strings. Until next time, be safe, be well, and play lots of strings.